I've got some tips for you when you're traveling with film, especially when you're going by plane. And I know it can be scary, definitely with those new CT scanners at some airports, but with these tips, I think you get the best chance to keep your film safe. And for those who already know this, let's refresh our brains before taking off. Let's get into it. Welcome to a new episode of Let's Talk It Over. Next week, I'm going to travel for a new episode to one of the most beautiful locations in Europe. I'm meeting up with someone over there, but I think I'll keep that a little secret for now. Because I'm traveling by plane, I need some safety measures for the precious film that I'm carrying with me. And let's get one basic rule out of the way, because you need to do this. Otherwise, your film will get destroyed. And that one rule is to never place your film in the check-in baggage. Your check-in baggage will go to the cargo of the plane and there it will be exposed to some intensive x-rays. And these will leave some nasty bands or maybe wash out your film and make it unusable. So never leave it in a check-in baggage. With that out of the way, you still need to go through security. And there they will ask you to put all your stuff through the scanner. This could be an older x-ray scanner or maybe the new CT scanner. But to prevent to go through either one of those, you can ask for a hand check. Some airports are okay with doing that and don't even ask any questions. But there are some airports that just simply don't do hand checks at all. And then you have everything in between those, of course. Sometimes it just depends on who is in front of you. So to make the life of an airport security or TSA a little bit easier and to increase the chance of getting a hand check, I've made some preparations. First, get all your film out of the packaging and put it in a plastic see-through bag. I use these Ziploc ones. That way the security can see directly what you are giving them and then they might be more willing to check it. Because if they need to open all of the packaging and do a lot more work, they simply might not do it. Sometimes the security will tell you that everything below ISO 800 will be safe to go through the scanners. And in my experience, and I've been flying with Portra 800 all the time, one pass through a regular x-ray scanner will not harm it. At least, not that I could see. But going through a CT scanner definitely will. I'll link a video down below from Lina Besanova who tested out all of that. So in any case, I would ask for a hand check, even if I would be flying with some slow speed films. Better to be safe than sorry. Let's also not forget that a lot of people think that film is a thing of the past and don't understand what's happening. So stay calm and try to explain. But what if you're traveling to a country with a different language? Well, I've got a solution for that. I made these little sheets where I explain that I want a hand check and that the x-rays will damage the film otherwise. I've got these with three different languages on it and an empty one where you can put on your own language or the language from the country that you're traveling to. I think that these helped before, but I also think that the security really appreciates it when they can read things in their own language maybe even understand it more. I've got these as a downloadable PDF for a small price on my website and this way you can support me in the channel but also be a little bit safer when you're flying with film. Link is down in the description if you're interested. But even after all those precautions, there is still a chance that they will not hand check your film. That is where my last safety measure comes in place and that is the Domke Film Guard bag. This is a lead bag which is designed to keep film as safe as possible. And it's not 100% x-ray or CT scanner proof, but it will help out a lot. After doing some research and checking out some results, I think that this is the best way to keep your film safe from those scanners. So in my opinion, investing in one or two of these bags is a must when you're flying with film. Trust me, I'll leave a link down below for this bag too. When film goes through an x-ray scanner, the first thing you'll notice is that it damages the shadows. So make sure that you don't underexpose your film. To be safe for color negative film, I recommend to overexpose your film by one or two stops. For instance, if you are carrying Portra 800, rated at 400 or even 200. Color negative film can handle highlights very well, so don't worry about blowing any of them out. And if you're somebody who likes to shoot low or slow speed films anyways, like Portra 160 or Kodak Gold, your film will have a higher tolerance to those X-ray scanners. So packing up those film stocks can be a safer option too. 
To sum it up, never put your film in a checking baggage. Always ask for a hand check. Even if you are flying with slow speed films, grab the sheet on my website, put in the language from the country that you're traveling to and give it to the security. Put the film without the packaging in a plastic see-through bag and always carry a film guard bag when you need to go through the scanner. Optional things are to overexpose your film or grab a slow speed film like Portra 160 or Kodak Gold. These tips will help you to get safely through the airports when you're traveling. But nothing is 100% guaranteed. And as film photographers, we have to live with that. If you guys have any more tips for traveling with film, maybe you have something that really worked out well for you, or if you wanna just share your experiences, please let me know in the comments. For now, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel because you don't wanna miss out on the travel that I'm doing next week. So yeah, I'm out. Peace.